Once you understand the node graph, you can begin to composite multiple images together very easily. We'll return to the Fusion page on this shot so we can add a computerized heads-up display that she's supposed to be looking at. Since the Fusion page is fully built into DaVinci Resolve 15, you can open the media pool to access any bin or clip in your project. Here, we'll grab this animated computer graphic and press the 1 key to see it in the viewer on the left. Now we'll add the Merge tool, which is one of the most common tools for combining two images together. We'll connect the clip of our female character as the background to the Merge tool and connect the computer screen as the foreground image. You'll see the results of the Merge tool in the viewer on the right. Now, to make this composite more realistic, we'll add a blur tool to the screen. Inserting it after the computer screen, but before the merge, will cause the blur only to affect the screen, and not the clip of the woman. This will make it appear as if the camera is focused on her face. So we can further enhance the composite by selecting the merge tool on the node graph, and then use common composite modes like multiply, screen, or in this case, lighten, to blend the two images together. The last step will be to merge in a third element to simulate glare in the glass. Now to do that, we'll take the output of the first merge and add that as a background into another merge. We'll use Fusion's vector paint tool to paint glare on our visor. To add paint, we'll need to use a background node as a canvas to paint on. Now the quickest way to add a tool is to use the keyboard shortcut Shift Spacebar. Now that brings up the Select Tool window. We'll enter the name of the tool and press Enter to add it to the node graph. Then we'll grab the Paint tool from the toolbar and connect it to the background node. The Paint tool now gets connected as the foreground to our new Merge tool. Now since the black canvas is the foreground, we'll make it transparent so we can see the background clip. Now we'll select the Paint tool in the node graph to begin making our glare. The Paint tool has a number of different painting styles to choose from along the top of the viewer. We'll select the Basic Stroke tool. The inspector has a variety of brush controls for creating the brush type you want to paint with. We'll use a soft brush style. Apply controls allow you to paint with a brush color, a clone brush, as well as emboss, smear, and even a brush specifically designed for wire removal. For our glare, we'll just need a simple white colored brush. To change the brush size, hold down the command key and drag in the viewer. Next, we'll paint a few large brush strokes in the upper left and another in the lower right where we want our glare to appear. Since the paint tool is vector based, we can use the Modifier tab to adjust any aspect of the paint strokes we want to change, including size, color, or even the path of the stroke itself. For our purposes, it's right where we want it. In the Merge node, set a Composite mode, and the Blend parameter will create a subtle glare effect we want. Understanding the simple, basic building blocks of the Merge node, the inspector and the viewers can help you create everything from simple touch-ups to amazing visual effects and motion graphics. But the most revolutionary feature of having Fusion built into DaVinci Resolve 15 is that you have access to any clip in your timeline, and not just from the edit page. Using the clip button, you can display thumbnails of every cut in your timeline and instantly jump to a new shot.